Breaking news. Adamu Garuba picks YPP presidential forms, says youth have no future in APC PDP, reveals dark side of APC. Don't forget Adamu Garuba, um, a very prominent member of APC who has been speaking for APC for God knows how long since the party began. He's been one of the serious advocates of the party, saying APC will win and all that. But currently, he has a different, you know, a different testimony in terms of that and telling Nigerians that, really sincerely speaking, the party called APC or PDP, neither of them, okay, has a heart for the, for the youth and that the youth should never think that these people want to give them any opportunity as the old man, okay, so to say, wants to remain there forever. You know, he went on to expose and to reveal certain very dark sides of APC and the current uh, shady, dark, shady things ongoing. You will be surprised, okay? You will be surprised. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Thank you. Adamu Garuba picks YPP presidential form, says youths have no future in APC PDP and expose some very shady things going on in the All Progressive Congress. Speaking with reporters in Abuja after picking his form at the party national secretariat on Tuesday, Garuba said he is seeking to create a new Nigeria by creating the country's foundation. The presidential hopeful said the youth have no future in the All Progressive Congress or People Democratic Party, PDP. The youth don't have a future in those parties. APC or PDP, they are one and the same alike. I was a strong member of the People Democratic Party in the 1999 to 2003. We moved to ANPP, and in 2007, we came to PDP and stayed till 2014 when APC started. I'm a founding father, and we moved with it, he said. You can see that he has been a hopper. From one point to the other, he's unsteady, he's, un he's unstable, and he's always looking for what will satisfy and, you know, what's for him. I have been a, I've been a very loyal, committed member of the All Progressive Congress and even allow aspirants to compete to contest for the presidency under the same APC in 2019. For me to come here and tell the whole world that the future of young people lies in YPP, I think there should be no credible person like me to say so because I have identified strongly with both parties, fought for the parties and got insulted for it. But all young people in the party are mushrooms, packed and disbodied. Maybe we are waiting for them to set us, set fire on them. But let me tell you the truth, that nothing will happen in this country if we don't, the youth do not take their position and stand for what is right. APC PDP have nothing good for the people. And should I tell you what is going on in APC especially? APC have no time for any young person. All the old people you see in the party want to remain there and have a turn either as president or the vice president and will do nothing until that is done. Nigerians must be aware that there is no future for any young person in APC. We are bringing a new idea, a vision that will go to the foundation and reset the Nigerian state. The reason we have been falling constantly in this country is because the foundation is faulty. APC's foundation is very faulty. The system was established on the point of division, and that makes us see each other differently. Where we stand geographically, Adamu Garuba said to contest against Adil Ibrahim, another presidential hopeful for the party's ticket, is something he will do. So this is what is happening if you know Adamu Garuba very well, he's one of such people and one of such persons who um, has been a serious advocate for the All Progressive Congress. And what he can say right now is that this is unfair. Okay, this is not right in any way, form or kind. That I mean, he has been. You 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 heard his journey. Okay, uh, how far he has come. He's been in APC. He's been in PDP. And with all of it, what he can draw. Okay, what he can glean from all of this is that none of the parties, whether APC or PDP, in his own mind, 
have anything for Nigerians. That's his opinion. I mean, looking at the whole scheme of things, Adamo Garuba can tell you precisely, clearly from what he sees, that neither APC or PDP have Nigerian or Nigerian youths at heart. That all these parties and people are actually looking out for is themselves, especially the older politicians, you know, all the older politicians, all they are, you know, really craving for and want to see is that they stay there, remain there and call the shots. The younger people, hmm, in, his, in his opinion, I mean, having been in both parties can tell precisely that no young person has a future there unless this set of people, every one of them, okay, every one of them are eradicated or out of the party by some means. Other than that, he said he cannot see any future for any young person in the party. Okay? He can't see any future. Okay? This is the truth. And if you look at it, you can tell. You can tell. You can tell. Okay? That this is what it is. You can tell. You can tell. You know, I mean, looking at all of them, I mean, the vice president wants to become president. The Senate president wants to become president. Party leaders want to become president. And everybody wants to become president. Uh, it's clear, okay? Adamu Garuba could not be far from the truth. However, where does he stand? We need to go back to his antecedent and see the kind of person he is. Who has he been? And how has he been speaking? What are his words for? Is he for the nation or against the nation? Is he opinionated? Is this somebody who is religiously driven? Is this somebody who is open-minded and will want the best for Nigerians and for the people in respective of your tribe, religion, and the geographical area where you hail from in the country? This is the kind of person we need. Whatever religion you believe in, we appreciate that, but it's your position. When you come to govern Nigeria, govern the country constitutionally speaking, not what you think. Not what you think or what you, uh, what, some, what you think some people deserve. What is good for the goose is good for the gangas. And so nobody should come on board and begin to, you know, begin to spearhead the affairs of the nation and destroy things because they feel that way or the other. Well, Nigerians, it's all in our court. We will be the ones to vote. Leave us a comment. God bless. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Bye for now. Bye.